All right, it's July 23rd, and yes, I'm back this week on video after going through some of the symptoms of COVID-19 and testing positive, and boy, first thing I need to say is I please get the vaccine. Like, if what I experienced and some of them are still hanging around are mild symptoms, holy fuck, please get the vaccine. Not only that, because it'll help your body fight against this virus and the variants. It'll also help finally get this thing lower and under control and less spreading. Because right now it is running rampant. I know a few people in just the punk scene and here locally in Phoenix that have caught it are vaccinated also. And yeah, it is, it's, this is not good. Um, I experienced some of the worst sinus pressure, some of the worst. I had pink eye last week from it, an even rarer symptom. And it's not fun. <laughs> and I can only imagine how worse it is if you're not vaccinated and have no immunity to this. Um, also, please wear a mask. I'm guilty of relaxing after like a week or two of not wearing a mask at shows. And even though you're vaccinated, it actually, I would suggest it. It's not a horrible idea, especially now that this thing is breaking through. It's in such high quantity that it's able to break through. And we're seeing higher infection rates just in the state. Well, in the state and even California, Nevada's enacted mask mandates for employees now. Like, it is growing, and I can't emphasize it enough. Please get the vaccine and even take the precaution of wearing a mask on the indoor shows if you're going to go and just be safe. This is not fun. Uh, I feel mostly better. I still have some hanging around sinus stuff. I have part of my sense of smell is back. Sometimes it still smells like fucking dust. That's all I smell. And then other times I actually do smell some things again, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I can't emphasize that enough. That's why this show has been called for now, a month or two, safely go. So yes, please. And yeah, I've still got some streams and some live shows to tell you about. So just take precautions when you go out there and just safely go. Yes, welcome to another episode of Every Show Joe Says Safely Go. Like I said at the top there, just please take precautions, get vaccinated, wear a mask, even if you're vaccinated, and even if you're not, especially if you're not. Um, and be a fucking fellow human being, and don't fucking be upset because someone decides to take more safety into their hands. Um, yeah, so just be safe about it. Uh, of course, thank you, Tony from Dumpster Hump at the top there for the theme you hear every week uh also of course if you're watching this on youtube please be sure to like and subscribe assuming you like it and you want to subscribe you get notifications when these go live plus as those numbers go up i get access to more features gradually eventually ad revenue uh the mythological thing right now i do you can actually support them by going to patreon patreon.com forward slash every show joe for the cost of a beer a month you can even five bucks a month there you go you can support me that way, and that helps me, especially now as things are starting to get back into momentum and concerts and tours are starting to be, for the time being, coming through. Um, so you can help me actually afford some of those tickets and the gas and all that kind of stuff. So it helps me out that way, too, uh, since there are some costs involved. And, yeah, um, also you can go to everyshowjo.com. And first off, go check out, I finally, uh, I got delayed by having some of, from the COVID symptoms, just killing my ability to just write um and focus on it but you can go check out pictures from the ska show back at the echo tap room a couple weeks ago with freaking epic 18 the readjusters bow cat and then even some punk rock with darling sky so some awesome pictures up there I got to try out and play with my 14 millimeter and i think they turned out pretty well go check them out uh and a little i still tried to do a little bit of writing so check it all there on the site. But also, if you click on the store link in the upper right, I do have shirts. You can go pick up an Every Show Joe shirt, and that supports me, too. So throw that out there. Of course, when I'm not under the circumstances of having COVID and 
up to the ability, and there's not a show that night where our son's playoff game. Uh, there is, I do like to stream and play some video games over at twitch.tv slash every show Joe. So give me a follow there, get notifications when I go live there too. And you can hang out, chat, ask questions while I play some video games here and there. Usually post to Twitter and Instagram stories when I am. So throw that out there. Of course, every, every, every week on these videos, fuck racism, fuck that bullshit. There should be no reason someone should be judging or stereotyping someone on the simple reason of their skin color or even their gender or their sexual preference or any of that it is it's fucking bullshit there should be equality in wages police shouldn't be fucking treating fuck police brutality I just say that and that's an enveloping thing like this is all stuff we should be reconciling and shouldn't be where it is um but of course black lives matter and if you want to go see what the phoenix sector is doing you go to blmphxmetro.org over there they have things that they're organizing so you can go participate and you can go donate there's also stop aapi hate.org slash act now similarly this is for stop asian hate pacific islander hate um because uh, i roll like what the fuck um but you can go there see what they're doing what they're organizing and can donate there uh, for Native Americans and our indigenous here, it is firstnations.org. And yeah, like, like I said, sexuality, gender, whatever, it, there shouldn't be a reason that we are judging people on this. Let them, if they're happy, they're happy. Let them be who they are. Fucking blah. Um, so yeah, you're going to throw out their transgenderlawcenter.org. It's a cause you can go donate and they're working on quality laws based on all that stuff to make sure everyone has a fair and equal chance here in the u.s and so and around so uh, yeah throwing all that out there of course so go support where you can of course speaking of supporting and this being a music show uh of course you want to go support your favorite musicians and your favorite bands some of them aren't on the road just yet some may be still holding off and they can always still use some money in your support so the easiest way is just go find their band camps go buy and find their merch go buy their like shirts go buy their cds their vinyl all that kind of stuff some put out some awesome new music coming up so like there's a clown seven inch i just saw there's a new descendants Kind of old descendants, but new uh, out today. There's freaking ammo and sniffers. There's that pre order that one up. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of awesome stuff. So, you can go support your favorite bands that way. Um, also, if you go to NEVA, a uh, National Planet Venue, ooh, excuse me, Venue Association, NEVA SSOC.org, you can go donate to them. They have an indie emergency fund that they're still using to distribute to any indie venue across the country that needs it. So, you can go support that way. There are a couple GoFundMe still out there. I know the Rhythm Room was had one going for just trying to get things back up and running and ready to have shows coming through, which is super awesome. Uh, you can go find that. Uh, trunk Space is over at MightyCause.com slash organization slash the Trunk Space. So throw that there. There's some music compilations still up on Bandcamp. If you haven't had a chance to go check them out, they go to the venues and the artists. Well, they go to some of the artists on the Yucca one. They go to the venue, the Trunk Space on that one, which is trunk, uh, the trunk space dot bandcamp dot com and yucca tap room dot bandcamp dot com. So you can go support them, some awesome music, national and a lot of local, and go just catch an awesome stuff. Um, of course, food. I always throw that out there because Rebel Lounge. You can go there in the morning now, get coffee at the Reap and So Coffee Bar. You can go support. While there's not music, they even still have bar hours. You can go get your drink on. So support there. Crescent Ballroom. They're open in the lounge area. We get dine in, take out, patio dine in. Uh, from was it Wednesday through Saturdays, five to nine on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is till ten. So go check that out and some music occasionally while you're there. Uh, plus, yeah, I always recommend the burritos. Mm, the carne asada burritos but everyone wants that bean burrito i get it i get it um but yeah and also speaking of food yucca tap room they have some awesome stuff like their bows and also they have some decent tacos and taco taco specials on tuesday um so you can go there they got growlers and you can always get some of that stuff on the craft side get that filled take it home with you or hang out and then like i said i'd recommend a mask especially after going through what i just went through but be safe about it if you're going to go do all this stuff. 
Um, throw out a couple others. We've got the Crew Nation Global Relief Fund that you can go there and donate. That goes to the crews that have managed to qualify for that. And you can go donate there. And we got the Music Cares Coronavirus Relief Fund that's set up by the Grammy Foundation for musicians, where they still have an email there if you want to apply as a musician. Um, and then yeah, you can go donate to that fund, and that goes, they'll distribute to the musicians who have qualified there. So, cool ways to still support while you're there. Of course, you're also here for this thing that's coming up next, the calendar part, where I've got a bunch of live events and live streams. Scott Kloffen signs back a stream, and I'm so happy about that. It was perfectly timed, and just, oh. Anyways, let's get right into it. We got tonight, Friday. All these times are Arizona time, which is Mountain Standard time, which is currently equal to Pacific Daylight time. So, you're probably confused, but hopefully that helps you. Once you do the math, be like, all right, I think I got it. So if I did my math right, these should all be correct. Got Trash Can Romeos with the DeVillains and Suburban Sluts at Chopper John's, 9 p.m. Got Outer Space Showcase, and that rolls off the tongue pretty well. Volume 2, uh, featuring Old Fashioned Assassin, Lucifer, Hoven Weep, uh, Huda, Huda Kill? Huda Kill? Ooh, I think it's Huda Kill. And that might be how it is. Sorry if I mispronounced any of these. Uh, and then Stone, which over Yucca Tap, over 7.30 p.m. is what I found here. That might be Doors. I'll go check that out. Got Catastro's Sucker album release with Cashed Out uh, and Barefoot over Marquee Theater, 8 p.m. There is ZC Keeley with the uh, Resonators and Conveyors at Last Exit, 9 p.m. Got Hollywood Punks, Victims, and the Kentucky Rifles, uh, Vesendek. Vesendek. This is like the episode where I'm kind of... Learning how to pronounce some things here. Vasendek. It's V A C E N D A K. Um, with And Ryak, you're over at the 44 8 p.m. And in like I said, Scott Coffin signs back. So 9 p.m. Twitch.tv slash Scott Coffin sign. You might know from Littlest Man Band or some smaller band called Real Big Fish. It's a, you know, super, super awesome and positive environment to be in if you're looking for something from home at 9 p.m. Uh, there's also the late-ish show, as it's called. Sydney Sprig doing her stream over on twitch.tv slash Sydney Sprig starting at 7 p.m. So you can go tune in, catch her perform on live streams. And then we roll into Saturday with, first off, yeah, this top one here, Wives with Deadbeat Cousins over last week. That's fucking killer. 9 p.m. Uh, we've also got another page. Uh, Project Skeleton with Nick Ferratu and Limit Club and The Man in the Maze over Chopper John's 9 p.m. We have the final four eyed horsemen stream they're calling it the four eyed horsemen are going back outside how about that uh that's their final live stream show before they actually go back on tour they're going to be coming back there even including phoenix uh rebel lounge so go check out that date but yeah that's megaran that's mc lars that's front a lot that's shape for the dark lord and this week you might know the opener especially if you're here from phoenix because it's robbie the rapper which you're probably still like what and well Let's clarify. That's Robbie from Playboy Man Baby doing some of his raps. You might be familiar with some of it from some of those cool tunes he's been over on TikTok and over on the social media for Playboy Man Baby. So really cool stuff. It's going to be opening this up. And how, how cool is that? Uh, you can go to tinyurl.com slash 4EH back outside. And it starts at 2 p.m. our time if you're looking to catch Robbie and the whole bunch. So go check that out. Uh, we've got Jason DeVore of Authority Zero over at Pub Rock. That's at 9 p.m. Got Nick Oliveri with Blog Dolly of Dwarves. Going to be starting at 7 p.m. at the Quarry down in Bisbee. And then at 9 p.m., Irik, our local Irik, and Sorksy. Uh, they're going to be performing some really cool stuff down there in Bisbee if you're looking for something, for a reason to leave Phoenix for a day or two for the weekend. Plus, they're out there. The best way to wake up on a Saturday is the Kepi show. Kepi Ghoulie streaming 9 p.m. 9 p.m. 9 a.m. <laughs> on their Facebook. Go check that out. Super, super happy and fun time. Uh, and then, yeah, go over to Sunday. We got Moonlight Magic over at the Thunderbird Lounge. You go check them at 7 p.m. And then a few streams. We got Bite Me Bambi with their usual music stream, twitch.tv slash Bite Me Bambi, 4 p.m. We got Sun Sunday Songs with Sydney Sprague over on there on her Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Sydney Sprague, 2 p.m. Plus, Sky Cloth Sign, like I said, is back. Sometimes Sundays are variable, so you'll find out. Tune into the Friday stream tonight, uh, twitch.tv slash Sky Cloth Sign, 2 p.m. So you got to choose Sydney Sprague or Scott Cloth Sign, or maybe you can do both. Probably do both. I know you can do both. I've, I've streamed both. I choose at the same time. But yeah, 
good Sunday. And then Monday kind of lines up with more Sydney Sprague, a case of the Mondays over on twitch.tv slash Sydney Sprague, 6 p.m. Uh, rolling into Tuesday, we got the Psychedelephants with Aura May and Exploding Oranges over at the Unity Through Community, 8 p.m. Got cooking with Snail Mate. Speaking of more food, you know, go watch them cook some awesome dish and maybe figure out how they did it and maybe drink and yeah, maybe make it with them. Hmm, there you go. It's like interaction. Uh, but yeah, really cool. Twitch.tv slash Snail Mate, 6 p.m. Got to see you next Tuesday with Bite Me Bambi. That one is a stream where they just kind of talk about whatever. And they always have like a drink of the show. So check out their social media for what that drink is and make it with it. So maybe make that. Watch Snail Mate. Roll right into the Bite Me Bambi one. And then at 9 p.m., Scott Klopfenstein streaming uh, over on his Twitch. So yeah, you can, have, you can make it a night of whatever that drink is, Bite Me Bambi says. And the food. And then, yeah finished with some Scott's cloth and sign. Ta-da! I've got your at-home entertainment all scheduled for you. Uh, Wednesday, you got nothing. Go relax. Thursday, we got Scattered Guts back with Sleeping with the Witch, Blotter Vision, and Blood Song. We got Katapram at 8 p.m. And then that's our usual snail mate plays video games. That's where Kalen plays some kind of video game while Bentley paints his face accordingly over on twitch.tv slash snail mate 6 p.m. And then Friday, we have a double-fisted... Or it's a double fisted farewell, or we'll, we'll just go with that. Uh, but it's a farewell show for double fisted with El Google Diablo Ape and the poster for Yucca Tap Room showed 9 p.m. And so, really cool. Go say bye and watch Double Fisted for one more time. Got American Long Spurs with John Rojas, uh, Chester Charles over the Dirty Drummer, 8 p.m. And I think there's more. We got this, my notes, other page here. And then, yeah, we got Girls Night Out. This featuring the Frequency Principle, Wild at Harp, that Arizona Alligator, and Backstreet Romeo over at Fawcow, 7.30 p.m. So really cool stuff, like Night of Music. Uh, you can go check that out. Uh, they got tickets available. So I think that's all I got for you. Of course, it's still, especially finding streams, it's still kind of decentralized. Though they're also getting a little lighter. Uh, but yeah, if there's any artists you're thinking of and you're like, I haven't seen them play in a while, just check out their social media. They'll be promoting any tours that are coming up. They'll be promoting anything they're going to, any times they're going to stream. I mean, actually, throughout their days and days, they've been playing a lot of video games over on Twitch. So that's been really cool. Whitney even did a little charity stream over on their live streaming. So, like, they're pretty active. There's some bands you can go check out and just see them stream here and there. So throw that out there. Um, also, you can just check out like Noon Chorus, No Cap, uh, Bandcamp even has streams now. So you check those and see maybe there's something in there when you're looking for something just from home. Um, but I think that's everything I got for you. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys, please, please, please be safe. This was not a fun like two weeks of symptoms and I still miss part of my smell and I really wish the sinus pressure would go away. But it is getting better, so that's good news. But please be safe. Please, if you want, well, not if, yeah. Please get vaccinated. And then if you want, even if you're vaccinated, not, it doesn't hurt to wear a mask, so especially indoor stuff. Um, yeah, this was no fun. So just want to throw it out there. And just be a fellow human. Don't be a dick to someone who might have a different opinion of yours. Um, yeah. So yeah, hopefully you guys just be safe, have fun. Maybe I don't know what we're, we're still feeling this out as I get better. What will be when I get back out there? But maybe I'll see you at a show in the next week, uh, or maybe I'll see in the chat rooms for at least Robbie the rapper, right? Um, but yeah, just be safe, have fun, and yeah, I'll see you next week. Take care.